This is going to be a video tutorial on how to hyperlink text in an email using Gmail. I will be using a desktop PC for this. Let me jump over to my browser here. Okay, I have my browser open now and I am logged into Gmail. To hyperlink text in a Gmail, I've, st I've begun to compose an email off to the side over here. And I'm going to show you how to hyperlink text to either a website or an email address. To hyperlink text to a website, say down here, I wanted to hyperlink this word here to a website. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to hyperlink it to google.com. But the way to do that, you want to highlight the text that you want to hyperlink. I want to hyperlink this word here, so I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag across that word to where I have it highlighted. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom down here to the little chain icon. If you put your mouse cursor over it, it says insert link. I'm going to click on that. Now in this new dialog box that opens up here, the very top here you can see it says text to display. The word here is what I have highlighted. That's what appears here, the words you have highlighted. And then down below that, it asks you, do you want to hyperlink it to a web address or an email address? I'm going to hyperlink this one to a web address, so I'm going to leave that one toggled on. Then I'm going to go over to the text box over here. It says, to what URL should this link go to? I'm going to click inside of there, and I'm going to paste my URL that I want to hyperlink this text to. That's the URL that I want to hyperlink this text to. Then I'll go down to the bottom and I'll click on OK. Now as you can see, I'm going to click off of it and I'm going to click back on it. And you can see it says right here this is going to go to this link, google.com. From here I can change it or I could remove it. I'm going to leave it be, I'm going to click off of it. Now I'm going to hyperlink the actual website itself. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag across to where I have the whole thing highlighted. Then I'm going to go down again to the uh, chain icon, the one that says insert link. I'm going to click on that. And being it was already a URL, I, I didn't have to do the one step. I didn't have to go to the other dialog box. It automatically hyperlinked that. Now if I click on this, it'll tell me the same thing. It's going to take you to google.com. I can change it from here, or I could click on remove to remove it. I'm going to leave it be. Now to hyperlink an email address, it's a very similar process. Say that I wanted to hyperlink this word here. Click on my email here. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button. I'm going to drag across that word. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom to the little chain icon. It says insert link. I'm going to click on it. The text that is being displayed that I'm going to hyperlink is here. Down below that, do I want to link it to a web address or an email address? I want to link this to an email address. So I'm going to toggle that one on. Now I'm going to go over to the little text box and I'm going to paste in my email that I want to uh, hyperlink it to. You could paste in your email or you could type it out either way. I'm just going to paste mine in. And then I'm just going to go down and click on OK. Now I'm going to click off of it and I'll click back on it. And you can see the email address. That's just my backup email address. I don't normally use it. But that's my email address that I have hyperlinked it to. From here I can change it or I could remove it. I'm going to leave it be. And now as similar to above here, I'm going to click my left mouse button, drag across to highlight my email address. And then I'm going to go down to the link icon that says insert link. I'm going to click on that. And the same as this one up here, it automatically hyperlinks it, being it was already an email address, it automatically highlights it. From here, I can change it. I can remove it. I'm going to leave it be. I'm going to click on Send. Now here is my email that I just sent right here, hyperlink text. I'm going to click on it. 
And now my links down here, I'm going to click on the top one that says here. It should take me to Google.com. I'm going to click on it. It takes me to Google.com. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go down to the uh, URL itself. I'm going to click on that. It takes me to Google.com. I'm going to close that. And now for the email address, when I click on here, or when I cl click on the email address itself, it should automatically take me to whatever my default mailing service is. For me, I'm on, I'm on Google right now, so my Compose Mail is going to pop up when I click on this. And as you can see over here, my Compose Mail has popped up. And the uh, email address is the one that I put in there. That's what it's linked to. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to click on my email address itself. I hyperlink this one too. I'm going to click on it. Now my Compose Mail popped up. It is linked to the uh, email address that I hyperlinked it to. That is how you hyperlink text using Gmail. Thanks for watching.